hi guys welcome to design 101 today i'm going to show you how to go about selecting materials in the 3d model we imported last time now that you have your model you can just click on the materials tab select a surface you want to apply the material to and choose from the vast material library that comes with lumion all the surfaces that were colored the same in sketchup will get the same material applied to them by default Now if we look at individual material settings, there are certain things that you can tweak to fine tune the look you want for your surface such as gloss, reflectivity, relief, map scale, colorization, etc. You just need to play around a little with these to know more about them. Emission is one such setting that you can change to make any material look emissive. Now these materials will only look emissive, they are not actually area lights. For that we have actual area lights that can be placed from the lighting options which is another video. For example, the bulbs that you see inside these hanging lights are actually made out of emissive materials but then I had to place omni lights inside for the actual purpose. To understand what a material should look like, you need to understand the way light interacts with these materials in real life. When it comes to surfaces in these models, they are perfectly flat but that isn't the case with real objects. Perfect surfaces just don't exist. Now if you remember running your hand against the wooden grain, you would surely remember its texture and the way it felt. So in CGI or computer generated graphics, normal maps are a kind of texture that allow you to add surface details like bumps, grooves and scratches to a model which catch the light as if they are represented by the real geometry. Normal maps are just one kind of information maps when we get into details, materials come with all kinds of maps ranging from bump maps, displacement maps, gloss maps, ID maps and various others. Polygon.com is a website that provides you materials with all kinds of information maps. Uh, they have all kinds of materials on their site uh, ranging from wood to metals and stones whatever you need they can cater to your services they also have some free materials that you can download if you want to try out these maps for the first time all these materials can be applied and tuned while working with nodes in softwares like blender maya and houdini for example in this project i wanted to make a see-through metal jali but it would have been a complicated task to model such a complex uh, jali with such curves and folds so i decided to model the shape i wanted and then tweaked around with the materials and the nodes uh, to change it so that the render looks like a jali but actually it's just a shape that i made in blender this is the beauty of nodes with just a little bit of effort you can achieve similar renders with such complicated materials and it would have been so hard to model this but this made it so much simpler. I'll show you how to achieve something similar in some other video but when it comes to Lumion they try to make everything much more user friendly for people like architects who don't need to know the CG details and they do this by applying them to their materials with presets. Now polygon.com provides some of the materials in Lumion 10. These physically based rendering materials, known as PBR materials, are marked with a letter D on the material in the library. 
they come with adjustable displacement maps that are generally much more detailed and realistic so i would suggest you go for these materials if you can't choose one of these material lumion allows you to create your own custom materials now with these pbr materials you can change the displacement which will impact the surface details and their depth and how light interacts with this particular surface And if you are still not satisfied with the materials, you can always upload your own materials by choosing a color file and then uploading a normal map to add surface details. To do this, all you need to do is go to the standard material, then choose your color map and then upload a normal map. Now you can change the other settings like the scale, the axis and the rotation. That is basically all you need to know about materials and how to create your own custom materials in Lumion. Now you can play with your own models and materials, even create some cool materials of your own. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a video.